I just realized that I left off one important part, which is how to add waypoints and tracks to a map. So I've inserted this little video in front of the finish of um, my um, recorded presentation. If you want to add a waypoint to mark a specific location, uh, for example, here I've got a road map south of Sedona, and I've got a, a turnoff onto a dirt road, Lloyd Butte Road, that may or may not be well marked, and I want to put that in my GPS. Go up to the top toolbar where it says New. If you click on the little arrow that drops down, come on, there you go. Choose Waypoint. And now move your cursor to the point where you want to put a waypoint. Drop it down. It'll give it a default name that's usually too long and not necessarily descriptive. And I'm just going to call this Loy Turnoff. I'm going to change the symbol to a car. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. And I'm going to put a little description in there saying turn off onto Loy Butte Road. And now if I want to take and transfer that um, waypoint to my GPS, all I need to do is either drag and drop it onto the GPS uh, folder, or I can right click on it, choose send to, and then choose the, um, one of the places I can put it. I can either send it to the GPS talk folder, or in this case, I'm going to send it to my uh, GPS unit that's already uh, plugged in and turned on. And the little green bar goes up and indicates that that waypoint has just been shipped off. You also have the option to create tracks as well too. Just choose track and then draw it. Let's go trace along a, a dirt road here and just click at every point. And when you're done, right click and you're good to go. And in the same way that um, you can I showed you before, you can change the name from the default, which is track, to uh, dirt road. And you can change the color from the default gray to, um, let's put yellow here in this case. And to transfer it, throw that off to your GPS, all you have to do is drag and drop it to your GPS holder, transfers over, and you're done. Final thing is um, installing maps on your GPS, if it can handle them. You need to have your GPS connected, as it is in this case, to your computer, and turned on. If I right-click and choose Install Maps, it'll bring up the Map Install um, uh, window, and it's a wizard. It'll walk you through step-by-step. Step. Click on Next. It gives you the option of automatically installing maps that correspond to the waypoints and tracks that you're currently viewing. I usually select no because this winds up usually loading in far more data than you actually need, especially if you have a lot of waypoints that cover a fairly wide area. So choose no, go to next, and it'll show you a display of the currently selected uh, map set. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see all the maps that are there. To select a particular map square for upload to your uh, GPS, you just move your cursor to highlight it in yellow, click, and you'll see that it changes to a, a, a reddish shade. And I can do that one at a time, or I can just click and drag to select multiple um, maps. And to turn them off, just click on it again, and in fact, I'm going to turn all of them off. The reason I'm turning them all off is to show you that as I click and select a map, there's a little um, sort of fuel bar on the right-hand side. What the program does is it automatically detects how much memory your GPS has, and then as you click on maps to use up that memory, it raises that bar to show that it's going to take up more and more space. If you have more than one map set on your uh, computer, Go down to this little uh, selector here and choose um, a different kind of map set. In this case, I've got a, a Garmin-produced map set called Metro Guide. 
that has street maps and restaurants and other points of interest. And now it's the same deal. You basically move and until you've got the area highlighted in yellow, click on it, and then you'll see the fuel bar moving up. You select too much stuff. Let's go pick a little bit more. Fuel bar will go red, and that, that'll basically tell you that you have um, too much selected for the amount of memory you have on your um, GPS. So I'm just going to keep clicking, and it says I still have 33 megabytes too much, so just keep clicking. More, 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 more. Turn off the New Mexico stuff. I'm going to bet you if I turn off Phoenix. There we go. Now it's turned green, and now we have just enough space to load up all the maps that we have selected. And you can go back and take a look at what maps you have selected on the other one as well, too. Click on Next. Click on Finish, and it will take all the maps, put them together into one giant file, and then send it off automatically to your GPS. Uh, that's it, I think. Um, hopefully you haven't gotten too bored. And um, um, if you have any questions about any of these issues, uh, the best place to look is in the help file.